And Makeup Geek has been using her content ever since. Ever since for like a hundred bucks. Another day, another drama. I kind of posted a few things on Twitter saying, you know, I'd like to share my truth. I don't want by any means this to be um, part of any of the drama. I'm not going to drop any names. So recently Marlena of Makeup Geek released a uh, video basically blowing the whistle on the influencer community. Well, uh, <laughs> toot toot Marlena, if you're a whistleblower, then call me Edward Snowden. She's upset that they're paying or that some influencers have asked for $60,000. She also talks about how she is an influencer and a business owner. Correction, she was an influencer eight years ago when the game was way different. So for her to complain about having to pay these influencers this much money, it's only a small percentage that she's complaining about because Majority of people aren't asking for sixty thousand fucking dollars. I was reached out to by them asking if I would do a uh, swatch of their new contour shades. They said they wanted to use these, and this is in the receipts. They said they wanted to use these in their store and on their blog post, and that they would give me credit. You will see there is my face on the contour pen. There is no mention of my name, of Melissa Siegel, or Lashes Love and Leather, or Mel Ray Siegel. And there's no mention of me whatsoever, where in the email they said that they would mention me and give me credit for producing the work. So for two years they have used my face and my work. I was technically the photographer, the makeup artist, the hairstylist, and the model, and the editor. So think about how much money they saved on an actual campaign. There's so much drama going on right now. Ooh. Girl, she's already the hair hurt. <sighs> another day, another drama. Hey, what is up all my social comment friends? It's Dustin and I am back with another video. So in this intro, you've seen another YouTuber, a small YouTuber that goes by the name Mel Ray Sogal. I found her this morning because she was actually sent to me from someone and boy was I shocked at what she had to say. So all of you guys already know about Marlena Stell and Makeup Geek, how she made this video about her truth in the beauty community and how she explained how some influencers are requesting upward of $60,000 for a product video, for a mention and all these different types of things. Well this got a whole bunch of people on the defense for Marlena and makeup brands and small influencers and things like that. But after watching Melissa's video you will see why I am kind of upset right now in this moment. But before we get into that I do suggest that you go and follow her. I found her this morning. I've watched a couple of her videos. She is actually very talented and she is so freaking pretty. But in her video where she's explaining about Makeup Geek she explains that they offered her some kind of credit as well as $100 to take some pictures with a Makeup Geek palette. I think it was a contour palette and they were going to put it on the blog post and use it in some stores. Well this just so happened to be about two years ago and Makeup Geek has been using her content ever since ever since for like a hundred bucks. Now it's one thing if you don't want to pay somebody $60,000 to do something. It's a completely different thing if you want to go and pay somebody a hundred dollars as a small influencer for their hard work and this girl's work is amazing. Like if you look at the screenshot that she put in her video that was in the intro of my video it looked like it was professionally done. I don't want to take really way too much away from her video because it was excellent. I found her chemistry on camera very good and she explained in detail why she felt the way that she felt and she ultimately sent a cease and desist to Makeup Geek to take her picture down. I'm not playing gay! I know you're all thinking like a hundred dollars. Girl, babs. Yeah, like a hundred dollars is literally nothing. I've done one sponsored video on my channel here and I made a hundred dollars. I had like less than like 2,000 subscribers at that time. I can't get a sponsored video now to save my life. But for Marlena to get on camera and complain about all these influencers and not wanting to pay them this money, and rightfully so, I understand why she wouldn't want to pay somebody $60,000 for a post. Like, come on girl, that's crazy. That's like half the cost of my house. But when 
when you undercut the small dog and then you say in a video that you want to work with these small influencers, you want to help push them, you want to help get them to a different position and use them to promote your products, but you pay them $100 and then use their picture and their work continuously on your site without even crediting them and then not even giving them any kind of royalties, I think that is very, very, very dirty. That would leave the bitterest taste is that even a word? That would leave a very bitter taste in my mouth, to say the least. It's just my opinion that I think Marlena needs to cut this girl a check because she's obviously used her work for this amount of time, and $100 does not suffice for that. Read the receipt, let you tell you the manager. I want my money. Now, Melissa did say that she took this down and Makeup Geek acknowledged it, da 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 da, whatever. I do hope that this girl has paid some kind of royalty because she absolutely deserves it. I would be so salty if I were her. I would be like really, really, really mad. How would you guys feel if you did some kind of work and somebody was like, hey, yeah, I'll credit you on my website and on my blog post, and then they use your picture and they use your work to promote a product, they paid you the $100, but it was never supposed to be on the website, and then two years Years later it's still there and it's still being used as a means to draw customers in I would honestly feel really like really angry about the whole thing there's just more and more drama that is coming out about the makeup community the beauty community makeup brands influencers I just don't see any shortage coming anytime soon like I said in my video yesterday we know that we're all anticipating Jaclyn Hill's video that she's supposed to drop today TikTok girl, TikTok, I've got you on notifications. I'm waiting on that thing to drop because I am so interested in what Jaclyn Hill is gonna be saying about all of this stuff. Like, she has any kind of room to speak on any of this. I really wanna address this whole sponsored video thing. I don't do sponsored videos. I make Morphe collaborations. That is where the money is at, girl. Honestly, what do you guys think that Jaclyn Hill's gonna have to say? I guarantee you Morphe will be said at least 10 times. I'm gonna count, and if she says Morphe like 10 times, I'm gonna make a video, and I'm gonna put a, and I'm gonna put a counter down in the corner, and then I'm gonna actually count how many times she says Morphe, because we all know that she's the Morphe shilling queen, girl. Something else that I wanted to touch on in this video as well is I've seen James Charles tweeting about him making this video about the beauty industry. He says that he's investing so much time in it. He's tweeted like twice maybe three times now that he has put like 14 hours in and he's just gonna expose everything and he says that this is gonna be so much fun for him but at the end of the day like I think that he could possibly get caught up. I've just got a gut feeling that if he puts this video out, somebody is gonna come forward and say something about him. I don't know anything for certain. This is just what my instincts are telling me and how I feel about this situation. You can only rattle a cage so much before people start to jump back out at you. And if I were him, I would be very, very cautious in the things that I'm saying because literally it is so cutthroat in the beauty community now. Like literally, literally. <laughs> People will do anything for their five seconds of fame. We've seen it all this week. Girl, I'm not even gonna get into the logistics of that. You all know I wore a Sriracha shirt yesterday for a reason that was subliminal messaging. Girl, I thought it was funny. But I really wanna know what all of you guys have to think about this stuff. Do you think that Melissa is owed royalties? Because I absolutely do. If I were her, I would probably be reaching out to Marlena directly if that were possible to be like, girl, where is my check? Like, I need my money, like, I need my money, like, right now. And also, what do you guys think about Jaclyn Hill? We, like I said, are all anticipating her to drop this video. I know that so many people commented on my video, in particular about her video, that they're waiting for her to drop it. What do you think that she's gonna say? What do you think that she could possibly say that could shed light on all this stuff that's going on on YouTube right now, specifically in the beauty community or the drama community, because you know she's mixing them both together now. And what do you guys all think about James Charles putting his time and effort into this video to expose the beauty community as well. I really just, I have no idea where this is gonna go. I'm really excited to see. I'm not excited at the demise of people that are probably gonna be affected by all this. I'm not excited by anybody losing any kind of deals or money or anything like that. It's just crazy to me just how one thing can set off a chain reaction. When Gabriel Zamora put out this tweet, 
it literally rippled across the internet and I told you guys that was gonna happen and I do not think that this is anywhere near the end of it but as always I encourage debate here on this channel I want to know what you guys have to say about all this and what you think about it leave me all of your comments down below your criticisms and critiques I live for it all but I love you guys so 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 much and I will see you on my next video bye guys